As many of you say, you're worried about the rain from this tropical storm, especially because there's a lot of debris left from Ida. Some of it is blocking storm drains. WDSU's Harrison Golden joins us live in the Lakewood neighborhood tonight. And Harrison, I know you met some people who are getting out there trying to ease some of those flooding concerns. Indeed, Christina. Now, of course, over the past two weeks, we have seen with Ida the importance of being a good neighbor, how important that actually is. And now with Nicholas, we are already seeing some neighbors stepping up again. Just picked up some stuff so I don't have to run out anymore. Filled up the car with gas, make sure I had gas just in case I had to do something with the car. And that's not all David Leonard has done to get ready. The Lakeview homeowner spent a few minutes of his afternoon clearing catch basins near his home. Well, I was trying to keep some of the um, leaves out of the storm drain so the water clears out a little better on the side street. We always seem to get a lot of water over here in this area. He fears street flooding even more this time because his block and so many others still have tree limbs and uncollected debris from the last storm. But he's not the only one worried. It's really going to be nasty in it <laughs> before it's all over. Margie Beer saw state transportation crews clearing storm drains near her home in Lakewood earlier, but she wonders if that will do enough. She still has two dismantled trees right on her curb. And this, of course, makes the driving hard, uh, this garbage, and my garbage hasn't been picked up in 10 days, I think, so it's pretty bad. But Beer says it could be worse. For now, she'll just watch the roads and hope for the best. Oh, and with the rain, we are worried a little bit about the drains, you know, the drain system. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. Now at this point, we heard from city spokesman Bo Tidwell earlier today. He says the good news right now is that the city has cleared hundreds of catch basins so far. They're in the process of clearing out hundreds more. And, and also in terms of the drainage system, any of those pumps are working. All but four of them are available right now at this point. And so with all of these roads, of course, one other thing to know about the parking on those neutral grounds. That's one more way to essentially clear a lot of those roads along the way. Neutral ground parking is allowed in New Orleans until Thursday at noon. For now, we are reporting live. Harrison Golden, WDSU News.